Welcome back everybody and we have another video for you today that is a note to review. Yes and that's right so when we're reviewing any mobile device we really got to break it down to two main components and that's the hardware and the software. So let's go ahead and dissect this phone in terms of hardware. The first thing we will start with is the front of the phone and we will talk about the 5.5 inch screen that is the Note 2 and that is always measured on a diagonal diameter like Nexus is demonstrating there. Of course on the bottom of the phone we have the home button and you will see that once you press that you actually get two touch capacitive buttons that is a menu button and a back button. When you jump over to the top of the screen you are going to get your 1.9 megapixel camera. Your two sensors are neatly tucked in there beside and of course your receiving speaker when you flip it over to the left sorry the, the side of the device you will notice that you only get pretty much the pen and i don't know if that's the same side the stylus is on yet yeah, we'll roll over to the bottom here and we'll just quickly show you the bottom so on the bottom you'll see you have your charging port down you also have your noise cancellation and of course your stylus itself and you can pull that out there and see that is a beautiful stylus and that actually has an option button built into the side of it so you can set up a lot of different options and it's such a beautiful pen but we'll talk about that more with software when talking about the uh we'll start with the other side of the device here we are looking at the volume rocker up and down and that is pretty much it for that side of the device the top has the 3.5 millimeter jack and of course I think it's another noise cancellation right up there on the rear of the device itself we have an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash and on the bottom you can actually see the physical speaker and of course the part of the part to put your stylus away now when we're talking about hardware as well we have to talk about internals and one of the things we're going to talk about internals with this phone is quite a beast of a phone it has two gigs of RAM we're also talking a 1.6 quad core processor that's absolutely a beast of a device the Samsung Samsung Galaxy S3 had a similar device but that was an international version and it wasn't available. This is also LTE compatible. It gives you your LTE, your 4G, all that great stuff for your speeds. And that pretty much what was a mouthful is the hardware for you guys and the next thing we're going to be jumping over to of course like any device is software. When talking the Note 2 and the software that it provides. Let's open it up and take a look at a few things. A few little nice gems that it offers. First thing I'm gonna talk about is this menu that we have down here. Now, of course, looking at the Android overlay, you'll see that pretty much everything is here. Uh, you know, pretty much stuff you expect from TouchWiz as it is. Um, uh, doesn't, you know, do anything over the top that's new. Even this menu here is something that you can put into your S3. However, when you select it, uh, let's select something here. You'll see that it comes up in a pop-up browser, which right now is the only thing you get on the Note 2 itself. Um, it's a nice little feature that's in here. It allows for easy easy access to the internet, and of course, you can close it off. Now, it didn't load up anything there because I'm in airplane mode right now, but normally you'd load up the web page, and it loads quickly with the LTE. Uh, now, of course, going into here, I'll show you something on the Note itself, on the Notepad. So when you go into the notepad over here, this is exclusive again to the Note 2 itself, and you can do different things. Of course, opening up a notepad, You'll see here, and then you can just write whatever you want to write. I'm, of course, doing it awkwardly, so don't mind my, you know, stupid writing. But you can see here, it's very responsive. It works exactly as you expect it to. It's incredibly responsive. Um, going back a little bit on the software itself, it's currently running 4.1.1. We will be seeing 4.1.2 very shortly. Um, it's already running out in Europe, and then we're expecting it here in North America, but we are running 4.1. 4.1.2 will bring a lot of cool stuff. You'll be seeing stuff like um, uh, multi-view, things like that, which a lot of people are looking forward to, and that is a cool feature. Pop-up window kind Kind of alludes to it. Um, we also anticipate to see 4.2 coming as well. Now, even running all this stuff, you see all the stuff I'm running on here and everything like that. The battery life on this thing is amazing. I still get over a day usage, which all, all smartphones I've used previously, I get about a day because I'm a heavy user. This I'll easily get a day and a half to two, which is a big step forward with that 3100 milliamp battery. Um, overall, on the software itself, there's no complaints. There's no force closes. Everything runs crisp and clean. I get no problems on the phone, and I do highly recommend it. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is a phenomenal phone. We talked about hardware, the processing power that's behind this phone, and of course, the Android versions, which are things like Android 4.1.1, and the updates that will be coming to this phone. With everything that's included, the power behind it, the software, and for you, the consumer, it makes an optimal choice when talking Android devices today. So if you're looking and you're tuning behind a device, what should I get? Should I get the HTC One? Should I get you know the, the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the Note 2? We stand behind the Note 2 and everything that it is capable of today. That is everything for our review. Thank you for joining us. We will see you all next time. Remember to like and subscribe.